the biggest issue with cutting payroll is calculating federal income tax withholding. Uh, and if you look at publication 15T by the IRS here, you can look at what goes into calculating the income tax for your employees. So let's click on this and it will show us this big long procedure for calculating your uh, federal income withholding for each paycheck. Obviously, you don't wanna do this by hand. It's way too uh, tedious. Fortunately, the IRS does provide a spreadsheet to do this in Excel, so that sounds ideal, just use that. However, not quite the case. Let's open up that uh, workbook here, and you can see, uh, I'll just give you a demo. Let's say we're paying our employee on a weekly basis, uh, and this employee worked 40 hours, so we type in 40, and we multiply it by the employee's hourly rate, which is $20, and we want to calculate their uh, income tax, federal income tax withholding. This is just one of many taxes they have to pay on their paycheck. There are two different methods to calculate federal income withholding. Uh, at our small business, we use the before 2020 method as opposed to the 2020 or later. Uh, so all we have to provide is their filing status, number of withholding allowances, and if they want an additional amount to withhold per paycheck. Let's say that's zero for this particular employee. Uh, now, as you can see, this is all information the employee gives you on their uh, federal form W-4. Uh, and then we put that information in there and the government says the, you have to withhold $63 in federal income tax from their paycheck. Uh, so that's all good and well, but if you have multiple employees and you're cutting payroll pretty frequently, you don't want to keep doing all this stuff uh, manually. It's a bit tedious yeah, because you just have to keep refilling the same information every week, and then you still have to calculate the rest of their, uh, the rest of their income taxes, you know, state income tax and then the FICA taxes. So let's get away from this, and let's instead open the uh, workbook that I created for my parents' small business, and I find this helps them do their payroll a lot faster. You have to enable macros because there's a bit of VBA code in here that helps us do all of the magic. First page here. This is just all of our employees, and it has some basic W-4 information along with some other stuff. So let's go by column by column and see what's going on here. Hourly wage, simple enough. Pay frequency, we cut payroll every week for each employee. If you want to do payroll on a bi-weekly basis, you would change this to 26. Uh, if you want to do on a monthly basis, you change it to 12, etc. cetera. Uh, tax status, S for single, M for married. Uh, also, if they were married filing independently, you would just put single. Uh, M is really just for married filing jointly. Then we have federal allowances. Uh, simple enough, that's just taken directly from the W-4. And again, this is using the Form uh, W-4 2019 or earlier method. Don't yet support the Form 2020 or later method. Uh, state tax, we are in the okay state of Illinois. I, would, I was going to say the great state of Illinois, but uh, flat state income tax, which is nice. If you're in a state like California, it's a graduated income tax, which makes it a bit more difficult. We don't yet support that. Uh, but most states do have a flat state tax, uh, so hopefully this should help you out. Medicare tax is generally 1.45%. After you hit something like $200,000 for the year, there's a 0.9% uh, surcharge. We don't support that. But again, if you're a small business owner, you're probably not paying people that rate yet, so this should be good enough for you. Social Security tax, uh, similar issue here. I think after you hit about $140,000, you uh, stop withholding Social Security for your employees. But again, most small businesses probably aren't paying that, so this is good enough, 6.2%. Uh, and then federal income tax, you leave it blank to apply the government's rules. If your employee, for whatever reason, wants you to withhold a fixed percentage, this worksheet does uh, support that functionality. This employee, Bob, he wants 14% withhold from each paycheck for federal income tax. We can support that. If they want additional withholding on a percentage level basis, we can do that. If they want a flat fee basis, we can do that. Uh, and if there's a mandated garnish by some government, then this is also supported. Uh, you probably won't encounter a garnish, but if you do, that's essentially just some government saying, hey, this employee is indebted to some agency. You need to withhold a fixed percentage and remit that uh, from their payroll uh, every time you pay them.
let's get into the meat and potatoes. So once you put in all of that very important information and employee information, hop on over to 2021 Payroll Calculator. And you just have to provide a couple of fields. One period end date, this is uh, something that just helps us. And I'm going to put 40 for everybody here. So 40, I'm going to drag and drop it down. And all this will automatically calculate everything you need to know. The employee we used earlier uh, had, was single with two federal allowances and was making 20 bucks an hour. So let's double check our calculations against the IRS provided calculator. You can see here we're withholding $63.21. The calculator we were using before said $63. So our calculation here is actually a little more accurate. We're not rounding like the government's calculator was. Uh, so we've got our gross pay of 800, state tax is 4.95%, Medicare 6.2, no, excuse me, Medicare is 1.9 approximately, something like that. Social Security is 6.2, federal income tax, this is the difficult one to calculate. So that's why we have this workbook in the first place. Uh, it uses that government algorithm and we get 6321. Net pay is then going to be 635.99. This employee has a garnish. Uh, what was the garnish that we had said for uh, this person? 60%. So 60% of gross pay is in the garnish. That means the employee's final paycheck is going to be net pay minus garnish. Uh, and that's 254.40. So you do this for all your employees very quick, very fast. Now what we're going to do, we're going to copy it and we're gonna paste it into the payroll log. There's a reason for this. Now, very important, paste values. What this means is you're just copying and pasting the values, you're not copying and pasting the underlying formulas here. Why are we doing that? Well, let's say one of your employees gets a raise in the middle of the year, you're gonna change your employee information, uh, you're gonna increase their hourly wage, and then going forward, the payroll calculator will now report their new wage. Uh, so you don't want to recalculate every time one of those employee information parameters changes. You want this payroll log set in stone, uh, and that's why you copy-paste values. Because everything in this calculator field is a formula. It's all dynamic. It all changes based off of what's in employee information. That's not what you want in your payroll log. In your payroll log, you want it to record historical rates, what you paid people in the past. So if you click on this, you'll see in the formula bar here, it's just a value. Uh, if you were to go to your payroll calculator and click on one of those cells, you would see it's actually a formula. Uh, so that's really the, the tricky part of using this calculator, the one thing that you need to watch out for to make sure that you don't make a mistake. Uh, but other than that, this is a free, efficient way to calculate payroll. As far as actually paying your employees, well, just write a paycheck. You can use a service to print your paychecks, which can save you a lot of time, or you can just uh, write a paycheck uh, with the old-fashioned way, which is a pretty cheap way of doing things. Still suggest, highly, highly suggest using an accountant because you still have to pay the FUTA tax and the SUTA tax as the employer. Uh, I won't get into that, but those are some additional taxes you need to pay about every quarter uh, so, and then of course you've got your income taxes, all that other fun stuff to do. But this is one aspect of, uh, being a small business owner that could be automated for free, uh, that I think is a, uh, a good thing to do if you're just getting started, or even if you're established, we're an established business, been running for like 30 to 40 years or something like that, and, uh, have never paid payroll service. I mean, that's going to cost us like $800 a year when we can do it for free and it takes our accountant an extra five minutes just to run over our numbers and remit it manually to the appropriate governments. Uh, one thing we've got here, this is kind of neat, we can look into this, it's the pivot table. So if you want to summarize, you can do that. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, let's look at what we did per employee from January to February of 2021. And you can actually see, like for example, if you were remitting your FICA taxes as the employer, you have to pay not only the FICA taxes that you withheld, but you also need to match it 
and pay that to the federal government. So, you know, with Alice, we withheld $918 from her paycheck. We have to pay twice that to the federal government. The 918 we withheld and the 918 employer match. Uh, so this is a useful tool when you're doing your, uh, your bookkeeping or your accounting, uh, especially for your accountant. Uh, but they're probably an Excel wizard and they can construct this on their own. Uh, what else is here? Tax brackets. If you are using this workbook in the future, uh, you're going to find that these tax brackets change every year. Typically, all you need to do is go to the IRS website and copy paste the relevant information. Uh, you can find more about that in the about section. You can also find some uh, additional information here along with instructions. If you ever want to change anything, just right click unprotect sheet. The only reason I have it protected is to avoid accidentally making mistakes. There's no password protection, uh, so you can edit this to your, uh, to your heart's will. Just know that uh, it's, it's a little complicated. I mean, there's a lot going on here, so uh, make sure you're comfortable in Excel before you do modify anything. If you find any errors, we haven't found any yet, uh, please let me know, and I hope this helps you out. Best of luck.